All right, so you got your new TV, you want to put it on the wall, but you don't want to spend a hundred bucks on one of those wall mounted units. Wouldn't it be awesome if there was just an easy, do it yourself, cheap way to do it? Well, let's see. All right, so I'm here in our youth room at our church. We just got a new TV to put on the wall, and I wanted to get it off of like a table or whatever so that you can move things around and you don't have to worry about the TV. I went to Walmart, bought this TV. It's like a 40 inch for like $300. It's amazing how cheap TVs are getting. I think it was like $100 or $89, something in that range for the mount to just mount it to the wall. And I just thought, man, that is ridiculous that uh, that much money would be spent just on some metal to mount it to the wall. So uh, came up with a easy, cheap, do-it-yourself solution to that. For less than 20 bucks, you'll be able to mount your TV. Let's take a look at the back of it. All right, well, I'm not sure how well you're able to see that there, but you can see this right here, this metal piece. This is called Unistrut. And basically I've got two pieces of this put together. One is on the wall and one is on the back of the TV, and that's what's holding it up. And uh, it looks great, it's super strong. You're not ever gonna be able to pull this thing down. But let me take it down and just show you exactly what it looks like. All right, so if we take a look up here. This is our, the back of the wall, what's mounted to the wall. And again, this stuff is called Unistrut, and it runs about 15 bucks for 10 feet of this. And you just get it at Home Depot in the electronics section. You just say, hey, I'm looking for the Unistrut. You know, that's what they're gonna take you to. Um, and all you do is you do that with these one and a quarter washers. And so these are actually uh, quarter inch holes by one and a quarter um, washers. So they're big, so they basically, they fit in there. And uh, usually you have to kind of even slide it in in order to get these in here. You can kind of wiggle it in this way, but usually if you just slide it in, it's uh, best. And so it's holding down that whole plate there. Same thing on this side and just use whatever you want for if you want to use a Phillips head or if you wanted to use a bolt, um, you know, like a hexagon nut, that's fine too. You just want to make sure there's enough room for the other piece of Unistrut to be able to like latch in here. So if you don't want a bolt that's sticking, you know, real far out because there's not going to be room for it. Um, and I just bolt these to the, uh, to the, uh, the stud itself. So use a stud finder, find out where the stud's at and just make sure that's on there. So, I mean, you could, if I were to hang on this, it would hold me. Uh, it's very, very, very strong. Then here on the, the back of the television is the same thing. This is the, the Unistrut back here. And all you gotta do is just find out where the, the manufacturer holes are, like uh, these guys right here. This is where you would normally install like a one of the universal ones. Use the same bolts that came with the TV or you can just take the bolt that's in the TV and take it to the hardware store and get another one. Now, this is a pretty good view here of this side. You can see how right here it, you know, it loops around and kind of has like a little, like a J on both the top and the bottom. So this right here loops around and grabs, set this back up, grabs on the top this corner here. So these are looping around and they, they kind of interlock with each other. And so there's really no way as an accident that's going to fall off. The other cool thing is once you get it up you can slide it back and forth. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So you know like on this my studs are right here you know they're they're at this spot and this spot but say your studs are there but you wanted the TV to kind of shift over a little bit that's fine because you, you actually have um, probably six inches or more of leeway that you could go back and forth. Um, usually your studs are going to be 16 inches, so I just cut this right here to be 20 inches and you've got a little bit of play on both sides that you'll be able to get it at. And on this one down here, I actually cut this one, I believe, 30 inches across so that it spans the entire back of the television. So I, I've got a lot of play that I can move back and forth on this. All right, so I'm going to put the TV back on and just show you how, how it, it, it uh, locks up there. By the way, this hole here, all I did was I just put the, the wires down from the bottom and they go up through here. So all the wires going through the wall. So, you know, there's not any uh, 
dangling wires. And I'm actually going to install a uh, power outlet up here too. But I'll show you how I have the wires uh, run down below in just a second. So anyway, um, when you're putting it up, all you gotta do is, I, I usually hold my hands on the side here where they're by the unistrut, and then I just kind of eyeball it, kind of come up and stick it on there. And usually it will kind of somewhat lock in. Yep, it's locked in first try right there. This guy is on there. It's not going to come off. And because the strut is, is uh, uh, like I was saying, you could have a little bit of leeway going back and forth, it just slides on there. You've got a lot of play that you can go back and forth on this. So you can really center it up exactly the way you want it. All right, I pulled it all the way over to the side so you can kind of get an idea how those, those J's kind of interlock with each other. If you pick up on it, it just, it locks itself. It's not really moving anywhere. You have to move, in order to get this out, you'd have to move it like this way and then up and out. And uh, that's not gonna happen. You know, if you're worried about like kids knocking into it and pulling it off the wall, you really have to struggle to even get it off the wall. So it really locks in well. Another thing about this too, is as you're working with the wires, I actually have one of these on another TV, a commercial mount, and it's like impossible to get in back here. And this is great as you just pull it up you know it's on there, it's not coming off. You can get back and fiddle in with your wires and take care of everything you need to um, without having to uh, without having to take it down. You can just you know install, plug it, get all your plugs and stuff. So it's actually very, very versatile once it's up. All right, so you see the TV up here and the plate, the hole without a little plate around it up behind the TV is running down here. Um, you can see this guy down here is just a plate you can find them on amazon and different things but it's just a hdmi vga and eighth inch um, for the audio going in and we use this room a lot for different things um, and so it's uh it, it's important for us to, to not have to get behind the tv every time we want to turn something on so like right now the dvd player is just plugged into that via hdmi and but if i have a computer that i want to plug in there i can use the hdmi or the vga and uh, all the audio is already run. So it's very, very good. And uh, this right here, this white cord coming up into the plug, uh, I'm gonna make an outlet up on top, but for now, um, that's what I just used an extension cord. So this is an extension cord going behind the TV that everything is, is plugged into. Because um, I've got the, the power for the TV and the power for that speaker below plugged into that and it's just ran down on the bottom there. But that looks kind of ghetto, so I'm gonna fix that um, with an outlet up on top. But anyway, there you have it. Easy way to do a, uh, a do-it-yourself flat screen TV mount to the wall for less than 20 bucks. And I actually got two TVs mounted for less than 20 bucks because it was 15 bucks for the Unistrut and you know a couple bucks for the screws and bolts and that's about it. So hopefully it's helpful to you. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.